Hey folks, well it's been quite a while since I've uh, done a uh, what's up video, so I figured I'd uh, show you what I'm working on today. Had a little oops at work while uh, moving some equipment and now I'm trying to uh, remedy the uh, problem I've caused. There you can see the truck uh, end gate and she's got a little bit of a wow in it. I won't go into the details of how it happened, but it happened. I don't know if you can see with the sun, with the shadow, but it's uh, got a pretty good wave in it. So it's useless, it's scrap. Scrap metal. I wish it was scrap metal, but there's no around here that'll take scrap. So, you can see I've pulled the latch off. I've pulled the pieces off the side. Uh, it might be too dark for you to see, but I've pulled all this stuff off, so I'm reusing it because someone at work gave me this old airflow end gate, tailgate, and I'm modifying it to work with the old uh, Dodge truck. I don't know what it came off of. So here you can see I've already, it's got some rust, but I've already welded on these uh, cups, I guess you could call them, that hold the posts. And it worked pretty good, but I'm going to have to cut them off because it's kind of canted inwards. So uh, I'll have to just cut off these welds, which will be interesting. But I got lots of cut off wheels and I'll move it so this edge is flush with this edge. And that'll bring the... <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, uh, I'm on crack. I'm not going to be able to do much about it, but I'll show you uh, why I took the pieces off. Sorry if I'm rambling. It's because I cut this out and I'm actually reusing the latches to give me a way to... Uh, oh, come on, get it bolts loose because I'm not done, but that way I can latch it and still have a good secure thing. This thing had pins on it and uh, I didn't like that, but there you can see how it tilts inwards. So, I don't know if there's much I can do about it. I'm not too worried about it, because old truck's a... It's a work truck, it's not a show truck, so I'm not too worried about it. But I want an end gate to uh, keep everything in. You can see my redneck plywood right now. So, but I'm also going to take some uh, square tubing, go across here, fill this gap in, because I don't need it as a, as a uh, fifth wheel type end gate so I want that all filled in and then I may even get some new expanded metal to uh, take that old rusty stuff off and replace it. So uh, today's job is to try to finish off these latch mechanisms. I got this bolt in already you can see and that's also where where are they here? They're in this giant mess. Looks like a bomb went off in my garage but uh, that's a uh, different job. Ugh. Use these straps because these straps key in to here. And then they sit and they actually hook up to that bolt. So that way when the tailgate comes down it doesn't flop all the way down as it does now. Yeah. Drop the end gate now it's like that and that's pointless because I'll uh, it's no good because well it's good if you're gonna load stuff I guess but it's not good if you're gonna carry stuff on the end gate like the back end of a snowmobile other issue I've created for myself is this level is not quite the same the truck uh, tailgate or the truck box is higher than the tailgate but it is what it is I'll make it work so the next step is to finish off figuring out how I'm going to get all this mounted up and secure and then do the other side so I'll work on that and I'll be back. So I got the uh, one latch mounted. I kind of waffled or not waffled but trying to figure out how I was going to do it so I came across came up with this plan. It's just tacked on there right now but just a piece of big angle with a bolt through it and what I'll do after the fact if it's going to work, I haven't actually tried latching it yet, is I'll just plate it in here, tie it in here, make it stronger, and uh, maybe even put some sort of 
discuss it in here of some sort, but I think it'll work. We'll see here. Let's try latching it. Voila! I was worried it would hit the uh, truck, but it's not going to hit the truck, so uh, I think that's going to work out good. So like I say, I'll plate it in here and clean it up a bit, maybe round this up a little bit to follow the contour of the latch. And uh, on this side, I was thinking, there's probably enough clearance. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. I was thinking I could plate this all the way across here as well and fill it in. I'm not sure if that little, you can see this little lever here might get in the way. It's hard to tell. It sits a little high, so I'm not sure I'd probably have to clear it a little bit. Maybe I don't need to do that. I don't know. But uh, I think it's going to work. So now I got to uh, do the same thing on this side. I've already got one hole cut here, so I just got to cut out the uh, square tubing and the expanded metal and mount the other latch and adjust it so it lines up. And then once that's done, you can see kind of this tailgate was a little bit bent, but once the latch is on, it'll kind of slowly pull it in. I had to run over it with the tractor a whole bunch of time just to straighten it because the previous person was using it as a loading ramp. So, But I'm not complaining because the price was right. So uh, once I get that latches sorted out, then I got to figure out a mechanism for opening it. I was thinking I was going to reuse the uh, the latch. Where did I put it? Right here. the handle but I think that might look a little bit gnarly maybe not I don't know it's gonna all be exposed to the uh, weather Heck, I could mount it upside down otherwise it would be up yeah up high up low I don't know or I could just put a couple chunks of cable small cable, hook it up to the latch, come across to a center point and then just have a ring hanging down. You just pull the ring down and opens up. But that's, uh, not going to worry about that until I get the uh, latches mounted. So let's see if I can get this side uh, set up the same as that side. Well, I uh, got the other uh, latch mounted now with the metal. Things aren't perfectly even. I got a feeling there's going to be a little bit of rubbing on this inside edge, but uh, we'll see. I actually haven't tried to close it yet. I know the latch uh, latch holds, but uh, there you can see the bracket I made, just like this side. Not quite the same, uh, but pretty close. So, there we go. Things are uh, catching big time. So, that's what I was worried about, you can see. So, what I'm going to have to do so I'm going to have to cut these spot welds off and bend this in a little bit so that I get some clearance. So uh, let me go and uh, try that again and we'll take two of uh, latching it. Alright, well, I've got this latch done again. Take two, I guess you could call it. or And we'll see if it clears now. I uh, moved both of them in a bit, both sides. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but the box kind of curves out a little bit. So the clearance issue is actually up at the near the top of the pin, not down here. So that's why I'm hoping that curving this in will do the trick. So let's find out. Oh, I think we're going to be okay. Look at that. It's tight, but it works. Now let's see if she'll latch. Yeah, side latched up just fine. Now this thing's still a little bit warped, so you can see this one didn't latch. Probably if I give her a smack, it'll uh, latch. There we go. Hopefully the, uh, I had to straighten this out quite a bit. Hopefully the uh, tailgate will take a set once it's been latched for quite some time. It'll just kind of just bend into place. So now what I need to do, I want to say I fill this in, see if I have any pipe, square tubing or not, and then clean all this up in here, plate this off, and uh, clean up all those welds. 
And then also I got to uh, rig up these straps because these straps are actually held right here. So I need to uh, take this bolt out, make a spacer, make like a shoulder bolt. Because bolts that were in there aren't going to be long enough and the threads are hooped anyway. So I'll make a new one, get those uh, wrapped up and then and then figure out what I'm going to do for a latch. So uh, I'm going to call her good for right now and uh, next video will uh, of this project I guess will be of the uh, latch mechanism either of me building it or of showing the uh, final project product either way so in any case take care and talk to you later